Hello everybody, my name is Elliot and I'm from hahagarden.com Today, we're going to talk about Diffen Batia, also known as the Dumb King. Now, there's a lot of different um, kinds of Diffen Batia, so the one we're talking about specifically today is, um, is Stabrite. Now, it is, now, it is very suitable for um, indoors, um, car porches, and shaded areas around your garden, and it can grow up to one meter tall. The Starbright has a uh, has tough leathery foliage as you can see here and it likes um warm it likes warm humid areas and it also um likes to be in um in um, in in indirect bright light. Make sure you protect it from full sun. Starbright can adapt to a lot of different lighting situations. However, it prefers a medium medium light so it gets a lot of artificial light during the day but um, during the afternoon, it gets some natural lighting. However, it can live in low lighting situations, but if you put it in low light, you, it might grow slower, the foliage will be less colorful, less big, and won't be variegated anymore. So if you notice your plant has smaller leaves or whatever, then you can just put it in a place with more light. Star Bright likes well, um, well drained soil however if it's too if the soil is too porous then um, it will not then the roots will have a hard time getting moisture and if it's too compact then the roots might get root rot because because it won't be able to get enough oxygen if you notice your star bright having yellow leaves then what i recommend you to do is just let them dry out and then later pluck them out if you try to prune it it will invite um pests basically Check regularly and water as needed. Don't ever let the soil dry out because um, because uh, the star bright likes moist soil. So if you touch it and it's slightly dry, then um, water water moderately. Important note: um, this plant produces toxic sap. Where if you were to put it in your mouth, your throat will swell up and close. So make sure um, your pets and your, ch your um, children cannot get to it and when you are touching it, you're using your tools on it, make sure you wash your hands and tools. Now you may be wondering why do people still want it if it's such a safety hazard. It's because it looks really pretty and it can add a splash of colour to your room and not only that, it's a great, it's a fantastic air purifier. Okay, first I want to say if, you're putting, if your plant is facing a wall, then make sure you turn it so that um, it is so that your plant is well rounded. Because if you don't turn it, then eventually one side will be prettier than the other. So that's number one. And now it's time for propagation. So there's two types of propagations: water propagation and soil propagation. If you want to go for water propagation, then you take a stem that is at least that has at least three leaves. So like this one right here. This one would be a good one to water propagate. So you just cut it and put it into water. Or um, if you want to go soil propagation, um, what we did is that we had a very tall, we had a um, big, we had a big star bright, but what, but we cut it like down here because um, because the top was um, had a lot of foliage, but the bottom was like um, bold. So we cut it from here so that uh, so that the um, bottom can shoot up another another uh, plant. And what we did with the top is that we cut it into two pieces. So here is the middle part, and here is the top part. So um, we just put it, put it in. Um, we just dip the uh, bottom in, in rooting powder, and then we planted it. And this is like uh, these two are three to uh, two to three months old, and this one should have developed some roots. Right now, um, this middle one, we just um, took it and put it into a uh, pot, and now you can see it's shooting up. This one had no um, had no leaves either, so um, now there's a new shoot. Oh, and for your information. Um, this these these um, this one is not the same as these two. This one came from a, from a different plant. This is still a middle. This is still part of the middle, but it's from a different plant. The um, the middle part of this of these two plants is in a is in our shop. So you can see, eventually this will palace up, and you can see the root is really nice. This is only like a few weeks old. When you're finished um, propagating it and you're finished planting it, um, there's three things you need to remember. One, you need to water your newly um, planted plant 
um, you need to um, water it more frequently but make sure you don't over water it um, second um, your your new um, le le your new your new plant once uh, will need a lot of fertilizer so I recommend you use the foliage um, fertilizer um, make sure you um, make sure you dilute it obviously so for this one you put two caps of you put two caps of this for every 500 ml and third um, it needs a lot of light but not but not um, direct sunlight make sure you water your plant first before you fertilize it because it will burn your plant now if you've noticed your um, your star bright um, plant has started um, the leaves have started curling that means you probably over you probably over um, over fertilize your plant so um, st so stop um, giving your plant fertilizer and um, basically water it more often so that you can flush out all of the extra salts and minerals and you know and every plant has its natural enemies called pests and dumb canes are no exception so it's not it's um pet it's um enemies are the caterpillar um thrips and mealybugs um if you see any any one of those three you, um if there's not too many then you can manually remove it and spray neem oil however if there's just too many then just spray neem oil immediately now i think this is all i need to tell you for today i hope you enjoyed this video goodbye